from just leaving Yellowknife uh, after being here for a week and a half coming back from my road trip. I'm on my way to uh, Northern BC again today. I'm going to drive the full 13 hour drive I believe it is. So it's going to be uh, a long jaunt but uh, come with me and we'll see how we get along and uh, where, we're, where we're at throughout the trip. So, 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 so. Bye now. Hello, uh, three hours later, I am finally in Fort Providence, more or less, and I'm currently sitting on the ferry waiting to go across. And when I left Yellowknife, clear, beautiful, sunny skies, uh, the temperature was slowly getting warming, warm, and then 30 kilometers outside of Fort Providence, fog, just thick, thick fog. And then you couldn't see the buffalo on the road very well, and you're going slow, and luckily I was tailing someone so that I could uh, see him in front of me. and and not have to worry so much about the buffalo. I could just watch his brake lights and uh, and then go from there. So I had to wait for probably, you know, 15 minutes before boarding the ferry now and we are moving as I speak, but I would have no idea because it is so foggy out and I can see faintly the dock over there. So we'll we'll carry on and uh, see vehicles doing something weird, but I don't know. I'm just going to try to relax and keep going with it and and get to where I need to go today. This is only three hours into a 13 hour drive. I still got 10 hours ahead of me, so we'll see you later. Hello, I am at the Alexander Falls here just south of Enterprise. And it is beautiful here. Like it's unreal how nice it is. And if you want to take a look, there is the gorge there. There is, or the, uh, the falls more or less. I'm not gonna walk down. This is the first time that I've seen those falls in probably, seven eight years maybe seven years I never stop here but I had to go to the bathroom like no tomorrow so it's beautiful it looks like fall in here and I, I just I, you know I want to camp here right now I just want to stop camp just camp camp here too bad I don't have a tent with me anymore oh well I do have a sleeping bag though I could sleep in the truck if I really wanted to but I'm gonna carry on I'm having weird vehicle problems where the RPMs are bouncing all over the place and the engine lights come on now uh, but I'm gonna keep going it's not slowing me down too much yet I want to be careful but I also want to get to where I'm going and then get the vehicle looked at rather than having to prolong things and you know hotels and, and whatnot like that so we're gonna continue on we'll see you later well good afternoon again something like that uh, so I guess the last time you saw me which have been but it would have been about 30 seconds ago I would have been at Alexander Falls but now I'm about 75 kilometers outside of Manning Alberta on my way down south I went right through uh, high level gassed up grabbed lunch and just kept going and I'm attempting to be in Dawson Creek or area for about five o'clock their time I believe this was about six o'clock here which means I would have been driving for about 11 hours I think is what it'll come to so yeah, I'm just listening to podcasts all day. It's really helping me focus on just getting there and not worrying about the truck so much. And on we go. This is Dunvegan Valley, one of my favorite spots on the highway towards Grand Prairie in Alberta. It's about 13, or sorry, 20 kilometers out of uh, Fairview, Alberta. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Dunvegan Bridge that they worked on for about three years and it was always a one lane road and it was oftentimes a 20 minute wait to get across the bridge. Now it's done and it goes over the mighty Peace River down in this valley here. Beautiful, beautiful time of year as well. I apologize about the sun that is in your way. And now we begin our climb back up to... Uh, 
I guess, normal level altitude, I guess. I don't know. See ya. Hello, lovers. No, sorry. Hello, fashion lovers. Treatments. Oko zero. Something like that. You know, I am going to kill myself doing this all the time. Uh, more so trying to get it out when I decide that I want to actually do something. Uh, fiddling around down in the center console with my hands and then coming back and looking up and going, oh crap, I'm in the wrong lane. I'm going to cause an accident. I don't recommend this. I will be more careful if you don't tell anybody that I do this. All right? It's, it's going to be our little secret, so we'll go with that. Okay, I, I'm just outside of Dawson Creek right now, and then I'm uh, going to meet up with uh, those friends of mine that live around the area, so uh, that disclosed area where they, they live. Uh, I'm going to get heck for that one, but for sure. Anyway, cheerio. Go back to your fashion-loving ways, my friends.